Talk about a chance to experience the seemingly impossible at the Museum of Illusions in the, Chicago. The museum was closed for a few months, some months so they could expand, and now there are even more opportunities to unravel the mysteries of perception. Leanne Trotter has the story. At the Museum of Illusion Chicago, nothing is ever quite like it seems. You know what, what it is? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this ten-sided illusion is called a dodecahedron. It creates an illusion of infinite space inside of that figure. We use a lot of mirrors and two-way mirrors here at the museum. Um, this is a favorite new exhibit. Uh, we love it. I feel like you can just get in. <laughs> Wishful thinking. You can get into the vortex tunnel. Be warned, though. It makes you feel like you're moving, but you're not. It's the walls that are moving. <laughs> pretty dizzy, but it was amazing. There are a lot of interactive illusions, and in many cases, you won't believe your eyes. That's really the nature of optical illusions. A lot of people say they're a trick of the eye. Well, they're actually a trick of the mind. They're tricking your brain. That's why they encourage you to take your time. When you come here to the museum, you're going to see things in front of you that appear to be moving or disappearing, but you know that that can't actually be. So you'll learn why that is and why your eyes perceive something that your brain can't quite understand. So don't be afraid to ask questions. It's amazing. Uh, I never visit something like that. Uh, it's my first time too, and I'm, I'm just like a kid today. Kids five years old and younger get in for free, and every Tuesday, teachers get free admission. Reporting from The Loop, Leanne Trotter. I gotta hold on! NBC5 <laughs> News. Oh, oh, Leanne. Hopefully that comes with Dramamine. So, yeah, 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 a little motion sickness just watching it on TV. Wow, pretty cool. But, yeah, a great place to take the family maybe oh, over the holidays. Kids would love it. That's yeah. awesome.